my friends, I'm Connie Bowman with a little yin practice for you today to practice any time you feel the need to just slow down. Yin is a slower, more meditative practice that goes deeper. And like our meditation, sometimes our resistance crops up during a yin practice. So it's good to practice with one another because we can encourage each other to stay. Just like the song says by Bob Gaudio, I think. Oh, won't you stay a little bit longer? That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do fewer poses for longer holds. And we'll go deeply into the muscles so we will use our breath and use our tenacity to stay. Um, I find that the day after my yin practice, I feel so good. So that is my hope for you as well. So when you're ready, find a comfortable seat. Let's just get a little centered and prepared for this practice with a short meditation. So as you're ready, lift your heart, draw your shoulders down and away from the ears and let your eyes close or your gaze soften. Notice what you brought to your mat today. All the things. Rambling thoughts, perhaps. Sounds in the distance. Sensations in the body. Sensation of wind or air or clothes against your skin. Just allow all of those external stimuli to be there, being present in your world and draw your awareness inside. Allow your breath to deepen. Inhale completely, fully, without letting those shoulders creep up toward the ears. And exhale slowly and fully. Take another inhalation, filling up. And a full complete exhalation, letting go. Take another full breath in, belly, ribs, chest. At the top of that inhalation, just take another sip of air. Take more than you thought you could breathe in. And then exhale it out slowly and fully. Another big breath in, and a full exhalation. And just take three more on your own. As you're ready, slowly blink open your eyes. And we'll take our first pose. Encouraging you to use any props that you may have, but if you have no props at home, no worries. Once we get into this pose, which will be a wide-legged forward fold, taking your legs wide on your mat. I've placed a blanket lengthwise on my mat. Get yourself set up so that you feel that stretch in the inner thighs. And I will keep watch on the clock. We will be in each pose for several minutes, three or four. So don't worry, you don't have to keep track. Your only goal is to come back to your breath. 
So as you're ready, just make your way forward into your forward fold, allowing yourself to surrender here. And once you get to that edge, just let yourself melt forward so the chin can come down toward the chest, the shoulders can round forward, and that lower back is gently rounding forward as well. So we have some tools here. Employ the breath. If you're starting to think you will not be able to stay much longer, oh, you can, you can, you can. Soften your face and swallow in your throat. Allow that to release. Sometimes that gives you just a little more of a sense of relaxation. And come back to your breath. Feel the breath enter the nostrils. Filling up. And feel that breath exit. Letting go. Feel free to make minor adjustments as needed. But once you do, see if you can stay as still as possible for as long as possible. When you notice those thoughts, come back to the breath. Deep inhales, long, full exhales. Surrender. Soften. You're doing great. We're about halfway there. Last several rounds of breath here. Keep it slow and even. next inhalation slowly peel yourself back up you did it first pose nice job come up to seated and just bring your feet to the floor and just give a little movement flushing out any tightness and come to stillness 
we are going to take a pose for the outer hips now. We're going to come into fire log pose. So we're going to stack our legs atop one another and this is a place where you can tuck a block in if you think uh, you would like a little bit of support or you can also use a block or blanket or towel to sit up a little taller if you like or you can once you are stacked you can pull the hip flesh out from underneath you and then we'll start by sitting up nice and tall and then close your eyes and as you're ready we'll come forward again and just find a place where we can rest the chin can come down to the chest the shoulders can come forward no worries and just let your breath be your anchor here deep breaths in long exhalations stay just a little bit longer please 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 tell me that you want to for this shape. We will be here for half the time and then we'll change sides, so no worries. Just see if you can soften anywhere, even if it's not in the spot where you're feeling the deepest sensation. Use your breath, soften your face. Relaxing the brow and the jaw, that helps. Deep breaths. We're already more than halfway there. You're doing great. Two more breaths here, full and complete. And on your next inhalation, let's come up together and then we'll switch the sides. And so we'll take the opposite foot to the bottom and the other foot on top stacking into this fire log pose. You might notice this side feels just a little bit different. That's going to happen. <laughs> no worries. When you're ready, check my clock. We'll close our eyes. Going in. I'm going back for more on this side. Maybe leaning forward slightly. Your face is soft. Breath is deep. Always coming back to the anchor of the breath. each breath to soften and relax the body a little bit more. And staying as still as you can. Mm -hmm. 
Just being present to what is Each breath, a new beginning. Each exhalation, an opportunity to let go. To be present to what is. Without judgment. compassion. And we'll take five or six more breaths here, softening even more wherever you can. Let's take one more breath together. Deep, full inhalation, filling up completely. Nice, long, slow exhalation, letting go. Good. As you're ready, slowly bring yourself up to seated. And let your legs release. Send them long in front of you. And just notice how you feel. Maybe point and flex those ankles. Take some circles with the ankles. And then as you're ready, we'll take one more forward fold shape as we come into our um, forward fold here with our legs extended. Just let your chin come to your chest again and surrender here. And you can let your hands come along the sides of your legs or reach for your feet or just rest on top of your shins. Wherever you land, just make it a place where you can stay just a little bit longer. Let your chin bow to your chest. And let your breath be your anchor here. Deep breaths in. Long, slow. Exhalation. Filling up from the bottom of the lungs all the way to the top. Imagining you are filling up to the top of your head, allowing the inhales to relax your mind. And then slow exhalations, imagining the breath leaving from the crown of the head all the way down to the tailbone. Each exhalation relaxing the body. Allowing yourself 
to melt and stay. Halfway here. Stay with the breath. Here we are together. Let's take three more rounds of breath. Allow the nervous system to reset. Regardless of what's happening in the world around us, you're calm and peaceful. Serene. Take one more breath in. And as you do, slowly peel your way back up. Nice job. We're going to come down to the floor, to our bellies. We're going to come into a sphinx pose here. So we'll take our elbows under our shoulders and this will be a bit of a counter pose so let yourself um, gently and gradually come into this pose and once you feel that you're ready let the elbows come right under the shoulders and the palms of the hands will rest on the floor on your mat tops of the feet on the floor and just turn your head from side to side and just give yourself a little stretch here and then bring your chin parallel with the earth and let your eyes softly close. See if you can slowly let this back bend settle in, keeping those shoulders down away from the ears. And then come back to that anchor that is your breath. Allow the face to soften. Try to keep a soft neck. And come back to the breath when you notice stories flowing through your mind. Deep, full inhalations and long, slow exhalations. Okay. Maybe settle in a little more. Heart shining forward. Just a slight compression in that lower spine. There should not be pain, only sensation here. Find that stillness. Anchor in with the breath.
Soften the jaw. Soften the glutes. Slow, deep. Detoxifying breaths. Take a few more of these long breaths together. slowly make your way down to the mat and just make a pillow with your arms and just turn your head to one side and just breathe here letting the spine reset breathe in and breathe out and then turn your head to the opposite side Touching your neck in the other direction. Breathing in. And breathing out. All right. Ready to move on, friends? Let's bring our hands beside our shoulders. Tuck your elbows in toward the body and slowly peel yourself up. Bring your knees as wide as your mat and bring your big toes to touch. I'll bring my timer with me. We're gonna come into a child's pose, but this is a counter stretch, so you may still be feeling the afterglow of the back bend we just did. So take it slow down to your child's pose. As you're ready, we'll eventually place our forehead on the mat and let our hips just slowly sink back towards our heels and then we can reach our arms way up way forward and let our elbows rest on the mat once you arrive in your child's pose and swallow in your throat relax the back of the neck and the shoulders and come back to your awareness of your slow steady anchoring breath breathing in stillness and breathing out stillness Notice here if there's any tension in the jaw, the face. Allow it to soften with your exhalation. We are more than halfway through this sweet pose. It's 
stay with your breath, stay with me, and stay with the practice. Let's take three more breaths together. Full, deep breaths. Cleansing the lungs. Relaxing the body. So good for you. As you're ready, we'll slowly make our way back up, coming up, taking yourself to one side and just bringing yourself all the way down to your mat. Extending your legs long, maybe taking a full body stretch, finding length in the body. And then we will take banana asana, which is just fun to say. We'll take our right leg over to the right and our left leg, left ankle can cross over that right ankle. And then we'll do the same thing with the torso. We'll take it over to the right and then our arms stay overhead and perhaps that right hand clasps the left wrist. Then we come into that banana shape, stretching the side body. Here we go here. This will be half and half, so I will tell you when it's time to switch. You don't have to worry. Just let your eyes close, go inward, and find stillness, and see how much you can soften into this stretch of the side body. Getting deep into the fascia of the side body, letting it soften. Every breath giving us an internal massage. Allowing everything else to just soften and melt. So little effort here. Short of following your breath in and out. We can stay together. We will breathe together. A few more breaths here. inhalation. Just slowly release the arms down to your side and let your legs come back to center. Let the spine reset. Maybe rock from side to side and then find stillness here. Just notice how you're feeling. Take a full breath in and a nice breath out. And then take your left leg over to the left and cross that right ankle over. Bring your arms back overhead. Find that banana shape on the sides. The left hand can reach for that right wrist. And get that 
deep stretch in the right side body. Turning your head in whatever direction feels the most um, interesting to you. Let your eyes close and come back to that anchor of the breath. You are doing marvelously. side is different from the other side, no doubt. So notice where you would like to soften here. Allowing that right side body to stretch. And soften. Feeling the breath fill up. Feeling it leave the body. And then beginning again. Take three more breaths together. You're doing great. And your next breath in slowly. Release your arms down to your sides and let your legs come back to center and just pause here. Excellent job. Time for a twist. So when you're ready, hug your knees into your chest. Let that lower back de-stress. And when you're ready, We'll take our arms out to a T and let our legs drop over to the left side. If you like, you can take that left hand and gently encourage that top leg to twist. And then as you're ready, take your gaze over toward the right, unless your neck for some reason prohibits that. It's a nice twist for the whole body. Let your eyes close and surrender and stay. Again, we will stay for half the time here and half the time on the other side. So no stress, I will take care of it. All you have to do is breathe and stay with me. By the way, thank you for the company today. You might want to swallow in the throat to relax that throat center. Open the eyes and the brow and the jaw. Breath to the hips. Shoulders relaxed. Heart space soft and open.
six, three more breaths on this side together. Keep them slow and easy. Slow and easy. As you're ready, bring your head back to center. Bring your knees back up to center. And just pause here. Bring your feet to the outsides of your mat. Bring your no knees to touch in the center. Take a full breath in. And a deep exhalation. And then as you're ready, hug those knees in again. It might feel good to rock from side to side or take some circles with the knees in each direction. And then as you're ready, slowly drop your knees over to the right. Perhaps this right hand will give some gentle encouragement to this left leg. And perhaps you turn your gaze toward the left side. And just rest here. Softening that shoulder. Softening the face. Filling up completely. And then exhaling slowly. And completely. You are rocking this practice. I just want you to know that. Can you release, surrender even more? Finding stillness. Take three more breaths together, friends. Make them the longest and slowest of this entire practice. So good. And on your next breath in, slowly make your way back to center. And take any movements that might feel good. You might want to go back to those rocks side to side or draw your circles on the ceiling. And then we will make our way to our final pose of this sweet practice that we did together. Yes, good job. Shavasana. So when you're ready, snuggle your shoulders underneath you and let your arms come out to the sides. Let your feet come out wide. Let them just flop open. Aww. Take a nice big inhalation and sigh that breath right out of the mouth. And one last time, let's stay together in stillness as we let everything we've just done integrate into the body, the mind, and the spirit.
Thank you, my friends, for coming along on this yin journey. You stayed with me. Thank you so much. Stay here if you like and get some more rest. Until next time, namaste.